Welcome back to the fields of Perthshire. Now, what a glorious, glorious day. I think this uh, Lothian Relics hoodie might need to be coming off, it's getting that hot. But uh, I'm back, just me, me, myself and I, and uh, I'm actually on a brand new field. This field, right here, has never been detected. Another new permission. I just picked up another 500 acres from a neighbouring farmer to another farmer that I've got, which is tremendous. So there is quite a bit of history as ever. There's Bronze Age, there's Iron Age. There are um, some crop marks, which look like old roundhouses or settlements. Souterrains, which are underground storage chambers, all dotted around the land. And there have been axe heads and spearheads and fragments of a sword found in the 19th century by farmers as well. So anything is possible. Uh, as ever, if you're not already subscribed, then please hit the button and uh, help support my channel. So uh, I just passed a milestone, which is eight and a half million views, which is incredible. I think 50,000 for the 1st of January is probably going to be unreachable, but you never know. So um, yeah, fantastic. Welcome to all the new subscribers and thank you for all those who've supported me over the weeks, months and years. Right, on with the Jethro programme and let's go and see if we can find some treasures. Just five minutes on the clock. We've got our first digger. Oh, nice and easy digging. Well, it looks like a great big bit of junk. Right there. Oh, it is. Iron brew. Sugar-free iron brew, or diet iron brew. So there you go. Scotland's other national drink. Things can only get better. Just been a few scraps of uh, lead, bits of copper, a few bits of aluminium. It's quite a busy field, plenty of targets. Film this one, as it sounds just a wee bit better. 85. Let's take that front edge off. Try in there. Nope. All right, let's get the old, oop, the old XP carrot out. Yep. It's a, uh, oh, it's a bit of a, a buckle or something, I think, maybe. Well, at least it's not totally junk. It's got a wee bit of iron on it, which is probably why it was, uh, did sound a little bit tinny. But I think that's probably a little bit of a buckle fastening of some description. Probably no more than a couple of hundred years old at best. A quail. Now this time it's a 74, which produces a little cog. Probably from like some sort of clockwork mechanism, maybe even from a, a clock or a pocket watch or such like. Um, but I suppose it could be some sort of old agricultural machinery. Some of them used to have little belts and timers and such like on them, but probably 50 to 150 or so years old. It's a screamer. I don't know if you can see that with the sunlight, but 91, 92, 94. So let's dig this bottle top together, or tin can. Nope, no tin can yet. Somewhere in there. Still haven't got my little knife yet. Oh, but it's on my to-do list. Well, oh, there we go. We have a... Oh, it's a toy car. Isn't it? It's exactly what it is. Oh well, it's better than a bottle top. It's the back of some sort of something or other. A Lamborghini 
not very good with my sports cars. It could even be like the Batmobile. Well, wrong colour, I suppose, but there you go. It looks like it's uh, probably 50, 100 years old. Let me clean it up off camera, pick out all this mud, and see if we can find a maker. And nothing doing with marks, unfortunately, but if you recognise this hot rod, then let us know. There's a number three. Oh, there's maybe something there. Nope, K36 it says. So, there you go. Some wee child's pride and joy, maybe. Oh, we got another one. This time red. There's the radiator grill. A bit less of it this time. Could even be part of a tractor. But, eh, uh, another child's pride and joy. Who knows, maybe this farm back 50, 100 years ago prided itself on bring your child to work. Maybe they were one of the pioneers and the kids left their toys behind. Six feet away, we've got another bit. Mystery. Could be the same piece, same uh, vehicle, or maybe it's a fragment of a different one. Ah, well. Now this new permission has just given up the goods. Look at it. A wee ring pool. Probably 1970s or 1980s. A classic. Well, folks. That is what we call in the metal detecting business a stinker. I found the square root of not a lot, but as I say, that's metal detecting. Um, this is uh, three times now that I've been out since we were away at the rally, and I've, I've found nothing. Uh, the last two videos, well, I didn't even get any videos because I didn't find anything. I don't think you'll want to watch half an hour of me digging up tin cans and aluminium, but... I'm going to post this video because this is the realities of metal detecting. I wish that every time I went out into a field that, um, you know, I had hammered coins and silver milled and relics galore that I could show you in the videos, but it doesn't always work like that, trust me. Um, so in total, I've done about four and a half, maybe pushing towards five hours today. And I've found, as I say, three bits of toy cars. That's basically it. Oh, the ring pool. Don't forget the ring pool. Um, so yeah, um, that's that's it. You can have all the history in the world, but if people didn't lose things and you don't go over the top of it, then you ain't gonna dig it up. Simple as that. Um, so yeah, and then the other two days, I think I did six hours and seven hours. So we're what, six, 12, 13. So I've done about 17, 18 hours of metal detecting. And this is all I've got to show for it. This probably five minute long video. So yeah, it's just to show you that it ain't all milk and honey, but as ever, if you've enjoyed this masterpiece, then please hit the button and subscribe to the channel. As I say, I've got something very special coming up, very, very special coming up, and hopefully that's going to produce a multitude of videos. You might have noticed I've not been out on the Roman field, I've not been out on the medieval chapel site, and there's a reason for that, because I'm saving them for something special. So don't miss it, coming very soon. So as ever, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all on the next dig. Fingers crossed with some better finds. Take care and we'll see you soon.